Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever written a story or script and been told that the stakes aren't high enough in your second act? Or that there isn't enough rising action? Well, for anyone who hasn't had formal training in three-act structure, these terms might not make much sense. So today I thought we'd dive into that all-important second act and explore what makes for great rising action in a well-written story or script. As always, grab your pencil and popcorn and let's get started. But first, some basics. What is rising action? For that matter, what's three-story structure? Well, in the simplest terms, three-story structure refers to the way we humans have told stories since we first learned how to communicate. That is, we tell a series of events that have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Three acts. Simple, right? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. But long story short, it's the part of the story where the stakes for your characters keep rising and your audience can't wait to find out what happens next. The rising action can be thought of as the part of the story in the middle, after the introduction of the main characters and setting and before the climax occurs in the story. This part of the story is where the main character faces a series of internal and external challenges and must overcome those obstacles to achieve their goal. If we think of it as a roller coaster, it's after we've left the station and are heading up toward the highest peak and towards the biggest and most exciting drop. It's where the tension mounts, challenges crop up, and conflict starts stirring. And why is that such a big deal? Well, it's the backbone of your narrative. It not only propels your story forward, but it also adds depth to your characters. And above all, it's the hook that captures your audience. Just like that roller coaster, it keeps them glued to their seats, eager to find out what happens next. The thing is, a lot of writers struggle with this part of the story. It can be tricky to identify the plot points that both heighten the stakes of your narrative and keep it engaging and authentic. I've struggled with this myself. When I wrote Boneyard Racers, one of my challenges was finding the balance between delving deeper into the main characters and their conflict while also raising the stakes and level of excitement surrounding the big race, and then doing it all in such a way so as not to change the tone or pace that I had already established. Luckily, I found a good balance between revealing backstory and tying it into the central plot in such a way that their past directly affected their future in the challenges that they were facing. That's what makes for compelling rising action. I'll admit, writing effective rising action can seem daunting. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Here are my tips for creating great rising action in your story or script. First, establish the stakes. Understand what's at risk for your protagonist. What do they stand to gain and what do they stand to lose? Next, introduce compelling conflicts and obstacles. Start by introducing minor problems that hint at larger conflicts to come. These can be external like a villain or a storm or internal like fear or doubt. Then develop subplots. Introduce secondary storylines that either support or contrast the main plot. Don't forget to show character growth through their reactions and decisions. Show how your characters react to these conflicts. Do they run away or confront the conflicts head on? Do they learn new skills or reveal vulnerabilities? Their choices will make them more relatable and real to your audience. Next, keep raising the stakes. As the story progresses, make the conflicts more intense and personal. The higher the stakes, the more your audience will care about what happens next. Don't forget to foreshadow the climax. Each conflict or problem should build on the last and lead toward the climax. This creates a domino effect that drives the story forward. Also, don't forget to vary the pace. Mix up fast-paced, intense scenes with slower, more reflective moments. This gives audiences a chance to catch their breath. Then, strengthen relationships. Show how the rising action affects relationships between characters. Are friendships tested? Do enemies become allies? Or something more? And finally, avoid unnecessary detours. Every scene should contribute to the rising action. If it doesn't move the story forward or develop the characters in some way, it might be best to cut it out. Now you might be thinking, isn't rising action just another name for conflict? Well, not quite. Change is what drives conflict in a story because it is this change that upsets the character's normal world. And they spend the rest of the story seeking a return to that normal. While conflict is a crucial part of rising action, they're not synonymous. Rising action is the journey 
that includes the conflict, but also character development, escalating tension, and the path to the climax. And remember, conflict can be both internal, which is a struggle within a character, and external, which is a struggle with outside forces. Bottom line, conflict is what drives the rising action. So let's take a look at a few popular movie examples to see what I mean. In The Hunger Games, after volunteering for the games to save her sister, Katniss trains, makes alliances, and discovers both hidden strengths and flaws in herself as she prepares for the biggest challenge of her life. In The Godfather, after an assassination attempt on Vito Corleone, Michael finds himself forced to take charge in order to keep the family's business from falling apart. The rising action is the escalation of the resulting gang war as Michael seeks revenge on the rival families and corrupt officials alike. In Romeo and Juliet, the rising action is the gradual buildup of tension and conflict between the young lovers and their families, the Montagues and the Capulets. As their relationship deepens following a masquerade ball, so does the hostility between their respective families, forcing them to decide which is more important, their love or their families. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry meets Hermione, Ron, and Hagrid, among others, and travels to Hogwarts, which is a magical and completely different world than he's used to. He further discovers his magical abilities and learns about Voldemort. A troll is set loose in the dungeons, and Snape seems to be out to get Harry for some reason. Each step of this rising action increases the stakes and brings us closer to the inevitable confrontation between the young hero and the evil villain. And that's the whole point of crafting a good rising action. In each of these examples, the rising action is more than just conflict. It's a journey toward the climax, filled with character development, inner growth, escalating stakes, and tension. So remember, your story's rising action is its pulse. So keep it strong, steady, and exciting. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or want to know more about other topics related to story structure, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest content. Until next time, keep writing and stay creative.